Okay, we're back, and we're gonna try this one more time. <laughs> I am freaking done with the internet here, I swear to god. Alright, exosuit's got some stuff. Don't have much though, do I? Got a warp cell, but I don't even need it. Gonna need it soon though. Because we're gonna start traveling faster. Okay, so as I was trying to describe in my previous uh, setup video uh, before the stream, basically I'm going to be attempting to go through a little bit faster. So I'm going to be dropping down on basically one planet in each solar system and then attempting to uh, just move on from there and just continually going on to new solar systems and galaxies every single time after that. If, for whatever reason, the planet or whatever turns out to be kind of interesting, I will continue looking around and seeing what I can find. But if not, I'm honestly not too worried about it. i got plenty of opportunities to find stuff. Uh, so, while I am on a planet, though, I will do my best to actually uh, locate and find things. Come on, that's a thing. Come on. But yeah, so we're, we're gonna we're gonna do our best here. Doesn't look like there's too much around here. This planet's basically dead. Well, they're gonna start getting mad at me, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's say hi to our friend here. That's like one of the plainest faced uh, Viking I've seen. Alright, Sentinel Hunter Naba. Interloper, Sentinel. Ammunition. The warriors browsing a map of the surrounding landscape. Certain areas contain markings that represent sentinels, which the life form is highlighting with an excited snarl. It strokes its bolt caster absentmindedly before checking the ammo charge stored in its clip. On this, its eyes jolt up towards me. It barks a question, but it sounds more like a command. Oh, I wish I could actually give it. Oh, it is displeased. Oops. Whatever. Oh, the table's disappearing. Not the first time I've seen that. I really didn't mean to upset you, fellow traveler. Alright, so the next number will be zero. I forgot to pull up my, uh, <laughs> my chat box. Can't have that. I actually want to talk to the people. You set the default. Sorry. I'm just trying to fix this real quick. Everything seems to be going just fine. Sorry, I'm extremely suspicious because I've had such a hard time getting Twitch to work properly. <coughs> well, getting online to work properly, uh, thanks to my nice. current internet connection. Uh, pass V2. Okay, so we're going to head over to this monolith or ruin or whatever the hell it is see what we can find. 
Oh, but that's right. There's another sort of facility over here, isn't there? <coughs> I should check that out real quick, too. <gasps> Those things. Okay. Um, <laughs> am I ready to make Sentinels, like, really mad at me? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's put that over there. Let's get rid of that. Uh, let's see. Let's let's free up as much space as I can. Because I'm about to make some very unhappy friends. Alright, so what sort of space do I have? Alright, so I got iron, plutonium... I'm actually... I'm gonna get rid of this one. Alright, so I can actually carry quite a few of them. Alright, so we're gonna kinda go out to the outer edge here. I'm gonna make a huge ring. I have no idea what's gonna be inside them, but I'm gonna hope for good things. Oh god, there are a ton of them here. Alright, I can't scan them. Alright, so we got Abumen. Albumen pearls. Alright, we've made some we've made some very angry friends. They're not as easy to uh get out as as the uh, Vortex Cubes were on one of the uh, previous planets that I'd visited. Crap, where are you? This might not go very well for me. Keep running. Oh crap, they deactivate, which means that the next one... I kind of wish that I hadn't done what I just did. Yeah, because now they're going to get mad at me, like, right away. And it's gonna deploy like a brand new thing. I just wanna get rid of this one. Refill my shields. Alright, I'm, I'm running. Alright, that, that kind of wasn't worth it. <laughs> I 
just tell me that the Sentinel Force is deactivated. That's all I need. And there we go. Ho <laughs> ho Bye bye. I want whatever you have. Alright, so we've destroyed 50 Sentinels. That really wasn't that worth it, honestly. Blueprint for damage radius. Shield is slowly recharging. I'm gonna have to make sure that I uh, hit some health packs. Dimensional matrix. Yeah, Sentinel friend, I am pillaging the ruins of some of your former friends. I'm sad to have had to kill them. They were being dicks. <laughs> All I wanted was this stuff over here. If I get lucky, I might actually be able to get like a couple more. I mean, they're worth they're worth a quarter million each. Let's see what else I can find left over from their bodies, though. Seems like all of them sort of fell down. Might be pointless to sort of go searching for those canisters, to be quite honest with you. Looks like those things, like, have already regenerated, too. Alright, so, yeah. I found... I'm finding some of the canisters now. It is not. Granted, I think that I only actually killed like five of these things. No, it'd be about six. up over here. I think that it is. Yeah, it's iridium. How much iridium do I need to fill my stack? I need a I need a hundred of it. Why do they gotta make all the good stuff, like, really hard to get? Freaking hate it. Is that Iridium right behind it? It is. Time to cheese the uh, the refresh on the uh, <laughs> on the mining pistol. What is that? This mine is fairly barren, isn't it? Scan this little flower. There we go.
pretty sure I'm not going to be finding life here. I think I... No, I did not scan that one. Get some gold. So I'm filled up just a little bit there. <laughs> Alright, I need a I need to recharge some stuff. Starship is fine because I haven't done anything to it. But I need to recharge my mining beam. There was something else over here that was that was new that I hadn't seen. Come on, it's these guys. I wanna scan I wanna scan this amazing life form here. No? Okay. Guess that's a no. Uh I don't see anything over there. The planet's pretty iridium rich, isn't it? So I got iridium and albumin pearls. A lot of them. And technically, I mean, I could just stay right here and make a billion dollars. Because it seems like they refresh rather quickly. Let's see if there's a couple that are close to the door. Okay, I can get one more. Myself situated. Let me in, let me in. Crap. <laughs> I'm in the middle of combat. <laughs> Allow me to draw them to your location. Uh, let's see, let's sell some items. If I don't have it on my person, then they can't get mad at me. Alright, so there's 200 grand, which is almost a suit upgrade, right? And then I got these dimensional matrices and neutrino modules, which I don't know... I'm just gonna transfer that crap. Um, I'm gonna sell the heridium that I have. Sentinel Force is deactivated, so I'm nice and safe. Yeah, because that's a. It's an okay chunk. It's 17 grand. Okay, so let's speak to our friend. Health levels rise. Health levels oh credits. Liquid Tesvacity Ajax. Or Lucid. Is that what it's called? Yeah, Lucid. Uh, 13 slots, so not better than what I have right now. Uh, oh, here's a uh, encyclopedia. Viking word for disconnection. And I am disconnected from that room. Let's just talk to our friend here and get this planet over with. Alright, Ensign Godogden. Alright, Interloper, Viking. Alright. The warrior barks abruptly and flourishes a knife. It stares directly into my eyes as it draws the blade over the palm of its hand. Black bubbles of blood emerge through the slit in its glove. It, it hands me the knife, clearly wanting me to replicate. It barks a little challenge. It pats the trade vault it's sitting next to. This will probably hurt. 
Um, no, I, I did the thing. I'm, I'm healthy. <laughs> All right, so we got jetpack booster theta, uh, which is actually kind of nice. Oh, and <laughs> Omegon. Uh, if I ever actually come across Omegon, I'll go for it, but uh, I'm not too worried about it at the moment. Uh, hello, Sentinel friends. I am on my way out. You do not have to fear. <laughs> I'm going to go check out a ruin. Because that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I am, like, not healthy at all. Is there anything that I actually need those for? Speaking of technology... I think that I'm mainly going to need them for, what, ship construction stuff? Uh, computer part trading... It says trading, but I want to say that, it, that it's got uses for technology. And I could just be, uh... I could just be a little bit crazy. Am I just crazy? <laughs> I have no idea. Whatever. Let's go. It's like I love finding the rare stuff like that. But oh my god, that stuff is like no bueno. Huge deposits of gold, huge deposits of iridium. What is this? It's just a ruin? Okay. Oh. Here's a little ship. Let's check this out. I think this is the first time that I've actually managed to come across one of these, like, naturally on my own without having to receive a distress signal. So let's check it out. Alright, pulse jet sigma, already known. Cargo drop, shielding shard. Debris gets me an electron vapor. Nothing. Bunch of pits. It's a cool looking ship. I like the coloration of it. What kind of ship are we looking at here? 24 slots? It's not bad, but it's not worth it. Tonga War. Alright, let's go see its story. Alright, so. I'm greeted by the stench of rotting flesh as I enter the derelict vessel's spartan interior. A huge beast, dressed in what appears to be a military uniform, lies where it died, mere feet from the escape hatch. Behind it is a partially smashed rack of military multi-tools secured by a sparking alien locking mechanism. The cockpit doors hang slightly ajar, and I can see operational equipment inside. Uh, let's just enter the cockpit. Pilot lies slumped across the control panel. I wrench a ship tech from beneath it. The stench of decay forces me to leave. But I already know it, so time to move on. If there's one of those albumin pools, like, really close to where I am right now, I'll get it. Because I can always use the boost to cash. Right, how close is the closest one? I'm already thinking that it's not close enough. Yeah, we're, we're not close enough. I'm not risking dying. Especially seeing as I only have like one hit point left. Not worth it. Love those rock formations.
Funny thing is that I hear I hear life, but the planet seems completely devoid of it. You know what actually would be the best thing that I could find would be a uh, be a cave system because I think in cave systems I would be completely sick. Looks like a huge stack of gold over there. Alright, let's learn some knowledge. Alright, Viking word for bile. Fantastic. Exactly the kind of word that I want to know. Some of these words haven't quite popped up in normal conversation yet, so I'm wondering like how I would end up using them. <laughs> Alright, nothing. Okay, got another knowledge stone. Viking word for drink. Don't drink bile, kids. That sounds disgusting. It's already inside your body. Leave it there. <laughs> Alright. Memories of a long-deceased tribe of Viking warriors. Progress, prosperity, and war. These are the things forbidden by the automatons. By the Viking... But the Viking were first to break the shackles, casting the old ways into the pit of in the into the pit to herald the birth of a new age. The Viking were the dam that overflowed. Righteous is the flood. <laughs> Alright, let's seek help. Alright, Viking word for leave. Yeah, I think that I probably should. Actually, what's What's that over there? No, it's just an iron. Alright, my ship's right there. I got one of these stupid pieces of crap right here. I'll take one final trophy from this planet. Run! Yeah, there we go. We out. I do like that battle music, though. Do a quick little scan. Not really seeing anything that I want to interact with. Oh. I see this ruin. Uh, this monolith, though. Okay, this will be it. Oh, there's another one, like, super close to me, too. Is there a storm going on? Alright, Viking word for temperature. For punchman. And for commencing. Alright, let's say hello. Alright. I become a part of a strange new reality. The ancient rock opens. Inside the dried-out heart of an ancient warrior is strung up between wooden pillars. It pulses slowly as it hangs there, still beating. That sounds terrible. Starting to reach that point in Phoenix where, even though like AC is still kind of needed, um, it's getting to the point where inside it gets cold rather quickly because nighttime actually comes and nighttime actually brings with it colder temperatures oh when it's like underneath 100 degrees it's fantastic all right lying below it on the dusty floor are a set of wrinkled lungs that look forever doomed to wheeze stale air a desiccated eyeball stares up at me unblinking that is disgusting Warrior body, restore power. Respectfully depart. Replace lungs with heart. Shoot heart. Okay, so the ancient... Uh, inside the dried out heart, strung up between wooden pillars, it pulses slowly as it hangs there, still beating. 
Uh, lying below it on the dusty floor are a set of wrinkled lungs that look forever doomed to wee stale air. I wish that I had more information. <laughs> I hear an ancient scream, the model with power is faith. <laughs> I think that I did the wrong thing. Yeah, I did the wrong thing. So, let's deal an album in Pearl. <laughs> and continue doing the wrong thing some more. Actually, does this lead me into the cave system, perhaps? I was hoping that it did, because if there was a cave system, more than likely, uh, the cave system would actually have some of those album and pearls down below the surface. And if that was the case, I could actually grab a whole stack of them and do it safely, because I don't think the sentinels come down there. But, that not being the case, I'm just going to take this one, which is lovely low-hanging fruit. And we out. So where is our friendly neighborhood space station? There we go. Uh, I may get attacked on my way to it. So let's just keep that in mind, shall we? Alright, let's warp over. Alright, so while we're doing this, we're gonna refill everything. Uh, Multi-tool doesn't really need anything. Life support sure as hell needs something, though. And while we're at it, let's name some stuff. Standard lacking... I don't remember much about this planet. Oh, I didn't find anything here, did I? I'm gonna name it Planet, uh... It's not gonna be... I'm gonna name it Planet Chakotay. <laughs> yes. Coat. Um, let's see, Hot Dino Baron, Lifeless, Dead Gold. Uh, we're gonna name it a... Dead... Galaxy... Okay. And then this planet was... Peridium. Well, that'll work. <laughs> um, and we're just gonna... I'm gonna call this... Uh, mesmerizing. Kind of go with the first word that pops into my mind uh, upon seeing the uh, the name of the location. <laughs> okay, that's it. Let's sell off some stuff and leave. I can actually kind of... I think I'll buy one more ship, uh, well, one more suit upgrade uh, before I really kind of slow down on that. Because uh, it's not super necessary at the time, but when I find myself with a lot of extra credits, then I will definitely buy some more suit upgrades. Rah.
Okay, so we're gonna sell. And sell, sell, make another 50 grand. Uh, let's sell this little bit of titanium. And... You know what, I'm gonna keep the electron vapor, because that might actually prove relatively helpful uh, in the coming travels. Is anything else low? 100%, 100%, 100%. Okay, good. Oh, that's like a slightly modified uh, Star Destroyer one. Now, didn't... I was gonna say, I found some stuff on this planet. And I need to make sure, I, I need to keep on making sure that I upload those discoveries because otherwise I'm not gonna get the credit for it. And I won't be able to get my upgraded Atlas passes. It's cool, but not cool enough. Currently, like my Space Harrier jet. <laughs> bye bye, Flat. Alright, so that's galaxy number one for today. exploration path towards galactic core all right so path okay the waypoints seem to at least be the same so we're just gonna we're gonna continue on towards this waypoint five planets Unknown discovery status. Let's warp out. I'm hoping for a bit of life in this galaxy. I would very much like to see more life. Oh my god, I, I'm turning up the LC. <laughs> Galaxy. What's my milestone? All right, I've warped twelve times. Okay. This area looks kind of dead. All right, I'm gonna look for the planet that looks the most alive. Which I don't think I'm going to have much luck with. Oh, that one has the word Gaia in its title. You know what? <laughs> Whoa, friend. I'm going to go for that one, but... Real quickly, I'm going to do some mining for... Actually, let's check out what the space potato has. Nickel. Okay, useless. More nickel. You know what? Let's go. 
Let's go help out. Why not? Let's be friendly. One more. I need to. I need to clear some space. Come on, you want to take me on, friend? So glad that I hit the ship and not the uh the friend. Hell yeah they are. Cool. I did a good. Oh god. Let's uh, charge that stuff up with my stack of zit. No, let's do titanium. That's what I have it for. I need a little bit more thamium. All right, let's transfer. Let's tra transfer some of this stuff back. So, and the last slot was gold. Alright, so it says that it's... Starship hull construction, so chromium. So 35, that, that's 100 grand. Which is actually kind of nice. So I'm just getting a little bit more, uh, thamium on the way there. I'm worth something of a uh, bounty myself right now, aren't I? <laughs> I think I just wasted that, and it could have actually been something good. Okay, good. I'm I'm full up. I'm actually like very afraid that I'm gonna get attacked now. <laughs> and now in if no moin gya. Odd planet name. And again, they're all pretty damn odd, aren't they? Alright, I'm gonna go down on that planet. I'm gonna go meet an alien. I'm gonna get some crap. Kind of looks just like a rock, honestly. I don't see, like, water-type surfaces. I don't see really that much evidence of 
plant life. Who knows, I could be surprised. And it has kind of a gold hue to it. Alright, so... It's like a manufacturing plant, maybe? So harmful rain, regular, regular, frequent. How harmful are we talking about now? Well, aren't you cute? Can't get those? Can I get this one though? I got that one. Oh, that's some new life over there. Oh, what is that? Little tiny guy. What's up, little friend? Uh, Viking word for take, so we're on a Viking planet again. Oh, there's like a whole little uh, colony of these guys. I got like a little friend. Got some tiny life. Oh, here's the big life. Just a child. Well, cool. I got kind of what I was looking for. I was looking for life. And I found it. Already got that one. Can I see anything else? This is the hat. It's like it's a tree mat out of tongues. Oh, there's knowledge stone over there. I can go for that one real quick. I have to be super careful here, though. I'm gonna die really quickly. What's this? Lots of aluminum. Right. All I, all I need this to do is to give me the right amount of aluminum. aluminum or aluminium to uh, fix the broken part of my ship. That's all I want. I might get lucky. How much did I get? I got 31. <laughs> a bunch of crap. Alright, that's iron. Those are probably only worth, what, oxide? No, no, not oxide, but uh, carbon. So 
So it looks like this planet might actually have some nice uh, aluminum deposits on it, which is actually kind of helpful to me right now. Oh, I could drop down there, but I don't see an easy way up. Well, no, I, I take that back. It's not that hard to get up here, is it? Looks like this is the way that I would go up. Are you a newbie? You're cool looking though. I like you. You're very pretty. On this planet of tongue trees. Protection. Yeah, you're not very happy with me right now, are you? <laughs> Die. Alright, let's see if I can't find some other cool stuff to sell. Nothing. Fill this. Let's do zinc. I'm gonna go ahead and refill the warp coil too. Because that's just sitting there taking up a spot in my inventory. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Oh, I got a fascination beam. Let it disappear on me. Oh, that the, uh, the, this observatory was once a war zone. Mangled metal scorched walls and the heavily decayed corpses of fire that must have happened before the beacon that flashes on screen arrived. If I enter the correct code, I can decipher it. The next number is going within the cosmos. Okay, um, what did I find? I'm assuming ruin? Ruin. Ooh, love that lightning or thunder. Let's check this little building here. See if there's somebody inside. Uh, you're dangerous, but also kind of scary looking. Oh crap, I really need to be careful. If I'm not careful enough, I'm just gonna die. Alright. Restore shield. Tech. Credits. I think this is going to send me to a, a broken ship. Alright, so 17, 33, 66, 129. I think it's times 2 minus 1? Isn't it? 17. Yeah, 66 is. 65. It would be 130 minus 1. 129. I think it's. No, sorry. Let's do that right. So 130 plus 130 is 260. I can subtract 2, so it would be 258, so then it would be 257. <coughs> Math. The one time... <laughs> like, it's been what? Like, God, I'm like almost 34. <laughs> so it's almost... Like what, 15 years since I was in high school and now it's actually relevant to me when I'm playing some sort of video game about space exploration.
but even then it's not like formulas it's just like random uh, uh, numerical um, what is it sequences uh, Herc bless Herc bless weapon uh, the wa warrior nods at me before taking a small metal idol from the vault at its feet as it clutches it its eyes glaze over in a strange white sheen I hear it mutter a strange incantation that gets louder, then louder again. Without waiting to ask permission, it thrusts its hands into my memory, or in, into my inventory. They burn with a strange intensity, seeming to reach for the elements it presumes are within. The experience is terrifying. Uh, weapon. It wants plutonium? Yeah, there we go. The warrior's priest, the warrior priest's hands. Okay, never mind. Whatever. That was not terrible. All right, just save real quick. All right, what should I go to first? Crash ship or? All right, and we're in space. God damn. All right, well, which one's closer now? Yeah, that's not even that far away. God damn it, I hate it when it does that. Like, I don't want you on the plane anymore. Bye bye. Could be bad. Alright, so there's some good deposits around here that I can try to get to as well. Oh, you look weird. It's like a... Got like a TIE Fighter wing. Maybe it's a Gragra. Suspension fluid. Let's check out its storage. Uh, let's see here. A high-tech cage filled with mangled bodies of animals lie in the cargo hold like thrown dice. The creatures appear to be long dead, and yet their fur moves unnaturally as though they still... alive. Uh, within the cockpit, a warrior-like pilot lies sprawled on the controls, a bolt caster in his hand. The ship's data bank appears to be operational. Uh, let's see here. Take multi-tool approach, seemingly dead creatures, investigate data banks. I take the information on an interesting new tech before hurriedly departing. Uh, not bad. 24 slots, and most definitely not worth it. Uh, let's go back to the ship in the might. Gotta be kidding me. Why does my internet have to be so crazy? My feeling is that I am done streaming for today, if that's the case, because I don't want to be doing a whole bunch of stuff and not being able to see it. Speed is fine, ping is fine. That's my upload speed. I'll say hello to you here in just a second. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna sell nickel. It's nothing. Uh, definitely gonna sell this chromium. Let's sell the remaining aluminum, fascination bead, Gragra. I'm gonna keep the suspension fluid. Actually, 
no, let's put you here. I want plutonium in that spot. Uh, what kind of tech can I get, actually? Uh, install technology. You know, I, w I think that I kind of actually want to do the upgraded booster, but I need that Amigon. Um, I could do this one. Increases available energy within life support systems. I just need platinum. Which... Should, it's not gonna, that's not going to be that hard. So... Yeah, let's pin that as the next technology that I'm going to build myself. Are these health modules? No. Like, I've got, what, the plus three one? I don't really have any need for going underneath the water just yet. I need that for my next warp cell. I like your white nose, nose paint. Alright, let's see here. What you got? Uh, Interloper. Corvax. Show Viking Warrior Strength. Okay. The warrior's old and of high rank. It takes its time studying my body and my equipment. It snarls with disapproval. It grabs my visor suddenly and watches me instinctively flinch and recoil. It lets me go and rolls its eyes while I fell back in shock. The life form's disdain is palpable. I think of ways to turn this encounter around. Um, threaten with multi-tool. The elderly warrior is amused by my show of strength that rewards me. Oh, hell yeah. It's got more slots. Uh, let's compare, though. Cause I'm pretty sure that mine is currently more powerful. It is. Um... Do I even have... I don't even think that I really have that much tech to throw on it. I'm gonna leave it alone. Honestly, 16 slots is cool, but if I'm gonna upgrade, I'm gonna upgrade for one that has like a lot more. So, that's that. Let's leave Uno Sabers. Do I have any ship friends here? Any ship friends? No. Alright, let's warp off to the next galaxy. Wait. Am I really still, like, incredibly valuable or something? Jesus Christ. Alright, next... Alright, so I've got two planets and two moons. Let's warp in. Land on a planet planet and call it call it quits because Cox is freaking pisses me off. I really wanted to actually stream for a few hours. Like this I wanted to sit here and relax and play No Man's Sky. Without the fear of knowing that what I'm streaming right now potentially isn't even being visible. <laughs> Which is fantastic, I love it. I love that scary thought that what I'm doing right now is completely useless. Well, what do we have here? Got an anomaly. Alright, let's end this with the anomaly then. Why is it slowing me down so much? I'm hoping for slightly do it for today. I wanted to stream for a lot longer than this. I've got to start making some other calls. But uh, we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Um,